Hey guys, it's Murph back again with another quick video. I just want to do a video on an OCD guide to putting a tempered glass screen protector on your phone. I'm doing it on my Nexus 6P, but this goes for any phone in general. Now I say it's the OCD, or if you're just like really temperamental about how you like your stuff, this is a good guide for it because I do it and it's got to look perfect. Otherwise it drives me nuts. I'm going to go over everything you have to do and everything you need. Uh, I'd say be in a room. Like right now I'm in my office, there's no rug around, it keeps the dust away, it makes it a lot easier to keep the screen of the phone clean. There's always dust floating around in the air and if you have a rug it's a lot worse. Um, so make sure you're in a clean area, no coat on, just make sure you're clean, brush yourself off. Um, I'm doing it on a desk. Also have a can of air around, some paper towels, and I'm using Windex which I don't like to use but rubbing alcohol would be better. And I'm going to try and do this in real time and just show you how to try and do it so it's basically perfect. Otherwise, most people today, if it's off a little bit or you got bubbles or anything, it drives you nuts. I got these screen guards right here, tempered glass. They're made by Spigen. I got them on, don't mind the fax machine in the background if you hear any noise, but I got these on eBay. They were $7.99. Great deal. They were on sale off from like, I think, $20. You get a set of two. So in case you do screw it up, you have a backup, but hopefully you don't. So hopefully this goes all right. We're gonna get to it and hopefully this goes nice and easy. First off, you gotta get off the old one. If you have a case on your phone, take the case off. So we're gonna take this. I got a speaking slim fit, take it off. If there's buttons on it, you take it off on the opposite side. That way you're not pulling the thing over the buttons. Actually, you know what? First two, turn your phone off. That way it's not driving you nuts. So get that off. The phone itself is pretty clean. The reason why I'm changing it, I don't know if you can see that. There's a crack on the top here. Get that to focus. It's right there. crappy camera doesn't want to focus but there's a crack right there and there's a bad scratch on the bottom it's right there oh, crap all over my hands all right so anyways OCD that's why it's got to be changed okay first you got to get the old one off just see if you can get it with your finger usually that's easy enough it is it's cracking right where it was busted Try and get it off without making a mess. Oh, and it cracked where the scratch was, too. Kind of weird, huh? So, the screen's clean as it is, but I'm going to have to wash it. It gets sticky from the old one. Actually, I want to get these out of the box, too, and see what comes with it. So, this is kind of an unboxing. Just to see what you get. Like, they don't have a nice way to open this, it doesn't look. I mean... Well, you ripped the whole box apart? Come on. So. Trying to do this in real time, guys. I want to make it snappy, but you know how that goes. I don't want to break anything. They don't have a nice way to open this. That's so stupid. Speaking. I mean, what are you going to do? Crack the things getting them out? Such a stupid thing. So here they are. Good, you get nice dust remover. It's like a sticker, basically. A couple other things. Try to open up everything nice, keep everything in order. Get a nice alcohol pad. Get two, because there's two screen guards. You can only get the one sticker, and you get a nice cleaner here. So I'll keep those. I only want one. Take all the old stuff, or the uh, extra stuff, put it in the box. Try and pull your sleeves up. Okay. Make sure everything's out of the way. We're good, okay. So get some paper towels.
clean the, just cleaning my own, my cover here. Case. Mind the people yelling out there. They just can't be quiet. It's impossible. Of course, I never get a fax until I want to do a video. Now I'm getting faxes one after another. Oh, yeah. It must be important. Hasn't been here in a while. They all know where they're going. They play stupid. Loud the matches. So clean that. Clean it good. <laughs> Residue. So hopefully you get everything that's sticky off of the cover of the phone. Or the screen, I should say. Get it as clean as you can. This fax machine is shutting up. It's starting to piss me off. I'm going to unplug it. So clean this. I'm telling you guys, OCD, if you're anal about stuff, you gotta have it clean. So get it as clean as you can. Try and pull everything to one side. Because the dust will set. My sleeves don't want to stay up. It's pissing me off. Got too many shirts on. But I can see dust in the air just from doing moving my sleeves. So just clean it as good as you can. Pull everything to one side. I'll worry about cleaning the rest of the phone in the case when this is done. Looks like something on the edge. It's moving, but it doesn't want to stay off. something on here it just doesn't want to come off it must be a mark sometimes this can get a little too crazy too try not to turn the phone back on I'd like to make it quick, guys, but if you want it perfect, you can't be quick. This little mark on the corner is driving me nuts, but ain't much I can do about that. Okay guys, we're pretty clean. Set it down, don't touch it. Get your screen guard. Okay, see this one's labeled back. So this is the back side. They have tabs on this one, it's kind of nice, it's gonna make it easy. But what you wanna do is you wanna take any kind of shape on the cover, it's screen guard itself, and make it line up the best you can. See, that says back, but that's backwards. Okay, that goes around the sensors, so that indent. See, I wish they had one that went around the camera, but they don't. Kind of check how it's going to fit when it's on there, so you know. It's basically a perfect fit, so I'm going to want to line it right up to the top. 
basically no space. Just check everything ahead of time so you have an idea. Okay. Make sure this phone is clean. Sometimes the problem is you get it dirty trying to get it clean. Yep, that mark on the bottom ain't coming off. This is where you use the tape if you need it. Okay, I'm gonna line it like this. It's easier for me to go this way. Back, so like, like that. This is where you use your sticker. Your dust remover if you need it. Just look for any dust. Try not to move the air too much, otherwise dust comes off of stuff. Peel the back off. Careful not to touch anything. Line it up the best you can. That is pretty Fargan straight. Now the bubbles kind of push themselves out. Try and push them out the best you can. Pushed it out. Now sometimes you're going to have small bubbles. And what will happen is when you use the phone and keep it in your pocket and keep it warm, the little ones will kind of like seal themselves up. Getting it warm helps it. I've never tried using a heat gun or anything, but just using it and having it in my pocket usually will help any small bubbles disappear. Whether or not I have those, I don't know. Also... See, I don't like how they cover up the camera on this one. My old one didn't. See this one? It had a hole where the camera was. I'm not seeing if you guys are seeing this with the focus. I hope you are. But uh, Also, sometimes on these uh, tempered glass screen guards, you get glue marks. Let me see if you're seeing this. Yeah, see it right there? It's like a glue mark. Those will usually go away as you heat the phone up, like I said, in your pocket and it dries. So guys, I see the video is dragging out. I just want to do a quick one on how to get a perfect screen guard set up for tempered glass. And uh, it turned out excellent. No bubbles. Just that glue mark that hopefully will go as it, you know, stays on there for a while. So guys, it was Murph. I'll see you in the next one.